welcome to Electron Online, an often overlooked skill that students, scientists, teachers, anybody that deals with signs uh, should have is the ability to quickly, very quickly, without using a calculator, have a rough order estimation of what the answer may be to a particular problem or to a particular question. For example, let's say you drive along the road, you see a lake and you wonder how many gallons of water are in that lake? Or you drive past a forest and you look at the forest and you wonder how many trees are in this forest? Well, that may not be a practical question and the answer to that may not really interest anybody, but it's the same kind of technique that you would use when you work out a problem on your test. You end up with an answer in your calculator and you want to quickly establish if that answer may be anywhere near the correct value or not. It may not tell you if it's the exact correct value, but you can certainly tell if you're very, very far off or you're somewhere in the ballpark. And so that's what rough order estimation is all about, finding a number that is somewhere in the ballpark. For example, let's say we want to estimate the number of school teachers in the United States for grades 1 through 12. Well, you just need to make a few assumptions. First of all, you need to make an assumption of the population of the United States and we don't need the exact value, but we can get an approximate value. So let's say that the total population is somewhere around 300 million. Next, you have to figure out, well, of the 300 million, how many students are in grades 1 through 12? And let's say maybe about one-sixth. So one-sixth would put you at about one-sixth of 300 million would put you at about 50 million students. Now the next thing you want to do is estimate, well, how many students on average are in each class? And since we have 50 million there, you can pick a number that is easily divided into 50 million. So I'm going to say the average class size is about 25. So 1 25th would then, I would then divide 50 million by 25, I would then end up with 2 million. So in other words, 2 million is a really good rough order estimate as to the number of teachers in the classroom. Now, we could be off, it could be 1 million, it could be 3 million, but 2 million is fairly close to the estimate. Again, it's a couple of very simple calculations, a rough estimate as to how many people live in the country, a rough estimate as to how many students uh, make up that from that population, let's say about one sixth, and then estimate that's about 25 students per classroom, so you need one teacher for every 25 students, so you need about 2 million teachers. And that's probably not that far off from the actual number of teachers in the country. And that's how we use that rough order estimation to very quickly, without a calculator, come up with a number that is a reasonable estimate to the true number. Now, how does that apply to a problem on the test? Again, you do the same basic thing. You round things off to very rough numbers, and then you just do a quick calculation in your head and say, yes, that's about right, or no, my answer is completely wrong. I better go back and recalculate it. And that's how it's done.